When I started this video, I was going to make it no opinions, just about the facts and the numbers, how long the tower gardens really take to pay for themselves. And I got pretty far in. Being how I'm surrounded by tower gardens, there is a bit of an implied bias with this video. So I want to remove all opinions from this video and just focus on the numbers. Let's see? But I realized the video was kind of lacking a soul. It only painted half the picture of Tower Gardens. It didn't really tell you whether or not it was going to be a good investment for you. So in this video, I want to share my experience with being a Tower Gardener for about a decade now. But right off the bat and out of the box, you're going to be able to grow 20 plants on this Tower Garden. So the first thing you really need to know and what the whole last video that I did that I just trashed kind of came down to was it all depends on what you want to grow. If you want to grow 20 heads of lettuce, it's probably going to take a lot longer to pay for itself than if you want to grow, you know, uh, tomatoes and peppers and all these things that are going to cost you a lot more at the grocery store that tower gardens grow in abundance. So I guess we can just roll through the, the non-opinionated version of the question. Yes, it's very much a good value if the question we're trying to answer is like, is it going to pay for itself? I don't think there's a scenario in which if you're constantly growing on your tower garden uh, and eating the food yourself that it's not going to pay for itself in about a year. So we can put that behind us. Now let's talk about the actual experience of growing on a tower garden. If that's something that's going to bring value to you, if the benefits of a tower garden align with you and your lifestyle. For example, if you live somewhere where you don't have a lot of space or you don't have a backyard at all, but maybe you have a patio or a little corner where you could grow on a tower garden, this would be an astronomical value for you. It would change the way you feel in your house. I, I don't want to say it would change your life, but having a garden in your home, uh, if you really desire gardening and growing your own food, can really, really just open new doors for somebody living in an urban environment. But if you live somewhere where you could easily garden and you enjoy gardening on rows, and that's kind of the thing you do is getting down in the dirt and and you love your backyard garden and you love making your rows and you have a tractor and you till it, this probably won't be as valuable for you. The real benefit of the tower garden and a lot of the value that the tower garden has kind of wrapped up in itself is the value of space saving. You know, I have eight tower gardens in a very small space right now in my backyard. Typically, I would never be able to grow that many plants in this kind of space. If you have a small backyard, if you have a patio, if you have a small area where you want to grow a lot of plants, then this vertical farming method that the tower garden implements is really second to none. You're going to be able to grow pretty much anything that you can think of that qualifies. Watch this video if you're wondering what you can grow on tower gardens. And you're going to be able to grow it in a very small footprint. There's also the value of the conservationist. Somebody like me who cringes a little bit when I hear the, the statistic that your carrots have traveled 1,500 miles on average before they've reached your plate. And I even have it worse myself here where I live in Hawaii where the closest landmass is 2,000 miles away and most of the produce is still shipped in here to Maui, which is crazy to me. There really is a ton of value tied up in that. Not necessarily value that you're going to see come right back into your wallet, but value as, I guess, a contribution to cutting down on just carbon emissions for the entire planet. There's not going to be a middleman anymore. There's not going to be a, a plane that's flying my produce or a ship that's bringing my produce or a truck that's driving my produce. There's no longer going to be people that have to be paid to be out there to pick my produce. There's no longer going to be the needs for pesticides. It's cutting out a lot of the things that cause problems with uh, the food chain and the supply chain in the first place. That becomes something that is really hard to put a value on. It's kind of like what is being able to grow all your own food at your house worth to you? That's tough. The value of the unit itself, I will say Tower Garden's quality is outstanding. They're an American company from Tennessee. They're used industry-wide. Tower Garden, the brand, is used for Tower Garden farms. It's used for backyards, for home growers. They really really are just the industry standard. So their quality has an expectation that, that definitely comes with that. I'd say the only thing about the quality, having assembled a lot of Tower Gardens, is when the plates go together before you put the metal rods through to tighten everything up, it feels a little flimsy. And it feels a little like, is this really supposed to be like this? But once you put the metal rods through and tighten all the plates up, you realize it just kind of pulls right together. And that is how it was supposed to be. But if that is something you experience when you're first putting your tower garden together, um, just wait and give it a good couple grows and you'll see that they're really high quality. 
there's also something to be said to the ease of growing in a tower garden. You know, when you grow in your backyard, you have to be aware of how much water and how often you're watering your plants. You overwater or underwater them really easily, and you have bugs and pests and wind and rain, all these other issues that contribute to uh, the failing of your garden. But with tower gardens, you don't even have to water them. You know, you set them up and and if you're growing like a leafy green tower, you never have to do anything. You don't have to check your reservoir. You don't have to put any more nutrients in there. If you set it up right the first time, you can just walk away and let your entire tower garden grow out, pull your lettuce off and be done. So to me, there really is a lot of value in that as well. I'm not sure if you would find value there, but hey, that's what this video is for, right? And the last thing that I find truly priceless and immeasurable as a value and an investment for the tower garden is what I get out of tower gardening with my kids. And I'll be totally honest, I have a soil garden. Here's some footage of me and my kids gardening in my soil garden. And the difference between soil gardening and tower gardening with kids is night and day. Soil gardening, they get over so fast. I get so frustrated because they're constantly pulling the wrong things, stomping on stuff. Uh, it just becomes a whole mess all in itself. Whenever I've tried soil gardening with them, they get so bored of it so fast. But with tower gardening, things grow so much faster on tower gardens. I mean, I can't believe, they can't believe, all of my neighbors can't believe just how fast fruit is appearing on these tower gardens. And my kids having the patience that they do, uh, it's just such a benefit to, to have gardens that grow just rapidly, super fast. I mean, they grow so fast that there are a lot of plants that never stop fruiting. They just will keep going. You know, my cucumbers are all, I feel like they're just always going because the tower garden is just so efficient with its aeroponic method of growing. It just really is superior to, to any of the soil gardens I have. So if gardening with your kids, teaching your kids how to garden and having them alongside of you is something that you're interested in, then tower gardening is going to change that experience for you in such a positive way. And for them, of course, there really is something that I can't quite articulate about um, tower gardening. Uh, once you get into it and once you grow a few plants and have great successful harvests, you really don't want to grow any other way. It, it just it becomes the way to do things for you and you can't really imagine going back i mean this is just my experience I, I suppose i shouldn't say you i couldn't imagine going back to give you a real example here my tower gardens are the gardens that i grow for my serious food when i want plants to actually make it and really be able to pick them and eat them and make sure that i can share all that with my neighbors and my family i plant those on my tower gardens my soil gardens are kind of novelty gardens I'll plant things like trees and I'll plant like perennials. When I've done regular gardens, just rows here in Hawaii, um, having to deal with everything that I've had to deal with at the same time that I'm growing in the tower garden, it became really difficult to even come out and water the plants anymore because the tower gardens were so much easier. They were producing so much better and so much faster. My kids were so much more interested in them. So for me, somebody who really enjoys gardening and wants to raise my kids around gardening. Um, I almost can't even put a number of value on tower gardens. I plan on getting a lot more. Uh, I'm going to do a tower garden farm. I have a huge project coming up where I plan on um, supplying food banks with my tower garden farm. It's going to be a really, really cool project. I'm teaming up with Lahaina. So make sure you subscribe for that and more tower garden content. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you anything really bad about tower gardens in this video. I do have this video, which is an honest review of my flex, which does have a few of the cons of tower gardens. If you're looking for uh, just bad things about tower gardens, the growing experience, I really can't say anything bad about, except be prepared for your plants to grow really fast. So like if you have tomatoes and you like to be on top of pruning them, Make sure you're on top of pruning them because they will grow really, really quickly. Oh, I'm also running a summer promotion right now where if you buy a tower garden through my affiliate link I have down below this video, I'm going to give you my Master Your Tower Garden course, which is normally 100 bucks. I'm just going to send that to you in your email. You'll have full access to it for totally free. I just want to get you started off on the right foot. Okay, so see you in the next video. Let's grow together. See if we can find some beans. Come on, I found a really big one, Daddy.
Oh, one. nice. You got two? Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. What did you find, Luca? I don't think those tomatoes are quite ready yet, bud. What's that? We want a bean. I found two. Oh, you want a bean? Yeah. Well, hey, I got a big bean for you over here. Where? It's up high where you can't quite reach it. Can I pick it for you? I found a big one. With oh, here's one, buddy. Big one. Right here. One. Well, I, yeah. good one. I have better ones, Jason. Oh boy.